flat panel display is a technology which is becoming increasing wider in the day to day life with the for everywhere we can see this flat flat panel display in our cellular in a cell phones also we use a same display kind of thing itself i in, in a digital cameras or a liquid uh, lcds televisions computer devices and personal step pads or we can so called as our laptops also uses this flat panel display itself and one more uh, main advantage of this flat panel display is we we here we are not going to keep keep the same place adik edike iste jaga beku anta athara avashyakata illa it it will be fit in a small place also okay with the new applications constantly emerging with the manufacture of fta systems is being utilized wild world so with the use of a wild world we use many kinds of nowadays each and every new applications whatever electronic gadgets are been introduced it comes up with a flat flat panel display itself now when we speak on this flat panel display we can see in a bikes a bikes also a display screen that is also a flat panel display itself clear it fits everywhere and it is one of the emerging emergent pattern in our in our system okay here it it takes uh, it converts a uh, light energy into an photo photographic energy here a flat panel display a technology if what does it do it converts a light energy into an photographic display so when we speak on this flat panel display we have two main types one is wire light display or emissive emissive okay wire light display or emissive or second one is static display it is called as non emissive so here the two types one is wire light and uh, static what is this what is this wire light and static here wire light in the sense it will uh, convert your uh, it will convert your electrical energy into a light energy so idu en madutte ant helidre now we have seen a crt what does it do right so same way in this what does it do means it takes a electric electricity as an input and produces a output of light it takes an electricity as an input and produces a uh, produces a light as an output so here when we speak on a wire light display it requires a constant power output to refresh a image on a screen for many times in a second so now we will refresh rate bage maatadidre this fcd has very less refresh rate in the sense we we will not get any kinds of uh, uh, like what we can say like uh, some noises in a things or any kinds of things we will not going to see that okay so this has very very less refreshing rate compared to uh, crt or random scan or raster scan displays okay so as a steady image are maintained by refreshing and images more and more than a human i can perceive so what does happen we get more clear picture for a person who is going to see how a image is that and what is the cost of that image and different kinds of things okay so the example for a violet violet flat third panel display is one is plasma device second one is the lcd third one is uh, originic light emission diode led originic light emission diode there are two types led and this led is different okay so uh these are some of the examples for wireless display so what is this wireless display is the display which converts your electrical signal means the electricity what you are going to produce provide to a system to run that signal will be converted into what into an light okay so based on that as you see you know you can uh, compare this to your crt also so what does you have to do the electronic beam uh, electrons which uh, which passes to a uh, to a phosphorus screen or that it it st uh, strikes that phosphorus screen and then a uh, image is been produced alwa so how how it is means like it converts the kinetic energy into light heat and light energy and heat is completely taken from a phosphorus screen and image is been showcased in the same way this violet display or msu display it will convert your electronic signal into a light energy directly so there is no option of giving a control grid or any kinds of sort of things will not be there the technology is different in that okay so these are some of the examples for an uh, violet display
Now let us see what is this plasma. The exa one one example of this uh, called as plasma. Okay. What well, the name plasma? Why a name plasma has been given? Means a plasma means it is a small. We call that is a small display unit. We call that as a small display unit, or it contains very small cells for providing an uh, image to provide an image. So a plasma device display panel is a kind of flat panel display is commonly used in large television. A large television in that is it is not more than your what 64 inches and all from 30 to max of 50 inches. That's all. Okay. So a plasma panel is kind of an PDA, uh, PDA uh, kind of an wall display which will uh, produce a numerous uh, images in a large televisions. Okay. So what kind of plasma is that? It is a small cell. It is called as fluorescent type lamp. A small cell called as fluorescent type lamp. So okay. Based on that, we get a image which has a few tens length of millimeter size based on a two panel of an glass folded mixture which is inserted inside an glasses. So what is this? This is this is made up of completely glass. And uh, even though image is very uh, very efficient and it is very nice to see, but we will not get multiple numbers of colors in this. So the basic idea of a plasma display is to eliminate a tiny color fluorescent lights to form an image. So now in Mathad Villi, a plasma theater, in a plasma name to Bantu theater, plasma theater, on the sun, on the it is like a smaller cell of an electron. I can speak as a smaller cell of an electron or smaller tiny particle of a fluorescent light which will jam to, to towards a screen which has a glass cloth coated one and then a image is being formed. Okay, this is what a fluorescent does. Uh, each pixel of a fluorescent is made up of three fluorescent color. One is red light, green and blue RGB. As you have learned about this RGB, you know about RGB, right? The mixture of RGB colors produ produces an different entity or the mixture produces a multiple colors, multiple sets of colors. So the basic colors of, uh, of our cells, what we can see are red, green and blue. The mixture of this we is, is tends to a uh, different color units. The mixture of this will be tend to a different color unit. So just like in CRD television, the plasma varies an intensive lights of different lights to produce a full range of color image. So same how a CRT works, say in the same manner, in the same mechanism, this fluorescent, uh, this violated uh, or a plasma will run. Okay. So a thin film of electrostatic display are being similar to construct and plasma panel. The difference is here, the region between a glass plate is filled with the phosphorus or a zinc sulfate drop with an magnesic inside that glass. Okay. So here, based on an electroluminescent uh, display here, uh, how does this work here is that uh, as I said, a uh, plasma, it is a thin flu uh, uh, fluorescent light. What does it do? The mixture of this thin fluorescent light combines together and forms a different varieties of lights. So how it is done means it has been constructed inside a plasma panel. What do you mean by a plasma panel here means it is a glass coated one. It is made up of a glass coated one. Okay. So here the difference here is what does it do? The, there is a region in so when we speak on that glasses, we have a, some small uh, place or that with which will be combined with an uh, with with, with a, uh, one with a phosphorus or it with a zinc sulfate which is dropped inside that glass. Okay, based on that, a image is been formed. Next, uh, LCD is a matrix of diodes arranged in a pixel position in a display and picture definition to store a refresh buffer. So LCD means it is a matrix diode. You have understood what is matrix diode in a, in my previous class which I have explained in a raster scan display. How does it look? 
how does the pixel looks like as i have showed an example of an image is also and i have explained you based on that it is it works okay the next is non msu display so what does this non msu display do here is the non msu display converts any source of light either a sunlight or a light received from an uh, electricity into a uh, graphics what does it do it converts any source of light into an graphics now when we see most of our uh, day to day inventions or day to day life leads with led and many parts of led is also lcd or is also been transferred right lcd is also not there now it is all everywhere we see it is an led right light emission diodes right liquid crystal display is not that right so same way this one of the simple one or as i said non emission means this converts your any form of light either it may be your sunlight or it may be an electrical light any kinds of things into a graphical image so here the liquid crystal display is in smaller system it used in smaller system such as uh, laptops or in our calculators okay they produce a image by pressing an polarized light from our surroundings or a internal light from a source through a through a liquid crystal material that can be either aligned in a block or transmits the light so how as i said nimma yavde tarad light agirbodu nimma natural light agirbodu illa neeve produce martiro light agirbodu it will take to it will combine that with the help of liquid crystal materials and then a light is being transferred this is how a la this is how a non emission display works so hope you understood about this this uh, this flat panel display right so uh, uh, one more let, let me explain you what is this again one more let me give a small brief on that here a platform a flat panel is one of the tiniest material or it refers to a class of video device that have reduced its size volume and power consumption so whenever we use this plasma we uh, this flat panel we have a light weight things and it is like the kind of a portable one itself okay so uh, there are two types of flat flat panel display one is wireless flat uh, flat panel display that is called as msu non wire non wireless or a static display called as non msu okay wireless means what does it do it converts your electrical energy into an light energy i non uh, non msu what does it do it converts any form of light into a graphical one hope you understood about this uh, this things right the next is the input technology so what do you mean by input technology what do you mean by input what is the input students what is the input for what we call a input is the data which use it is used to process means process in the sense what we use that information to us like we need to perform some of some kinds of operation and now we are use that data that becomes a input devices so technology like when we speak on a technology it is a terminal where we do ourselves more uh, more easier now when we talk technology they will talk what are they talking about ನಮ್ಮ ಕೆಲಸ ತುಂಬಾ ಸುಲಭ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ದ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮೇನ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿವ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಎಕ್ವಸಿಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾನ್ ಮಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ಅ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿನಾಮಿನಲ್ ವೇ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ whether it may be in a text form or in a graphical form or in a sound form also correct when we speak on this input technology we have our google uh, we have our google assistant right what does the google assistant take as an input what does the google assistant take as an input so what does the google assistant take as an input the input for us as voice correct the same way now 
wait a second so as as if the modern technology does in some different works whether you take the things in a text text format or in a graphical format or in a sound format everywhere we take a input itself so here there are main technologies where we are going to specify our input technologies the first one is touch screen so what is a touch screen where do you find a touch screen now a touch screen you want to find in your mobile screens even in a pcs also even in any way you find you find a touch screen like a touch screen is in your fingerprint scanner also that becomes a touch screen in itself means it takes a input so a touch screen input is an input device that allows a user to perform a operation on a pc or similar devices for a display screen as simple as an display screen we speak on a touch screen and that right it is a kind of a input device which will work as a display screen namige adralli we can use the thing andre now yavde one video na tagondra video na nodabodu namige enadru kelsa madbekidra kelsa nu adralli madkobodu means it is that kind of thing. okay a touch screen takes a input by a finger or other passive things it takes a input by a finger or other passive objects a touch input so is suitable for wide varieties of computer applications so we see many ways many ways in a, in this touch screen we use them right for providing a passwords it may be right a touch screen is been utilized by in our in our door sites in our big malls and all for entering for a bio we use a biometric a biometrical uh, uh, device which also use a touch screen right it scans uh, it uh, we can scan our finger and we use the things we provide some passwords and we enter to that that is also touch screen itself anywhere you see the touch screen is been utilized right a touch screen is used in most pc systems as early as uh, input devices such as trackballs or touch pads so even in a pc personal computers or your old laptops even nowadays a new laptops also comes with a fingerprint scanner that is also a touch screen right i more like a lightweight macbooks each and everything comes in a touch screen itself we see we do the work even if there is a keyboard also we work with the help of a touch screen itself right the same way here oh wait a second uh same way here a touch screen is a is a screen is an input so that it needs to be combined with a display and a pc or other devices to make a complete touch input or like your mobiles now bare touch screen and that is the input device the karkolak agala combination of a different devices combination of different uh, machine uh, machines or i can say about a uh, products combination of different products makes a single touch display so here when we speak on touch screen it uses different stamina or different phenomena those are one is touch sensor now we got our uh, display mobile display touch madre we get a vibration or we when we touch it activates that is suppose you are touching number 1 or number 2 or number 3 how it is done it is done with the help of touch sensor okay a touch sensor is a clear screen glass display with a touch responsive surface with a touch response surface in the sense or the enu antu heladre we see our mobiles it has a clean glass particle it has a clean glass particle which helps us for working or which helps us to do different tasks task right in that we, we should know when we touch an uh, display on a on my mobile display it says you need to open your password or something means that i need to it should uh, uh, redirect me to that page right that is done with the help of touch sensor okay the touch sensor or a panel is placed over a display screen so that the responsive area of a panel will be viewed on a video screen screener so what does it do here as this line suggests to you a touch screen as this line tells to you a touch screen or an panel is placed on over a display screen that has an responsive area responsive area ant helidre enu now yava ondu button na press martivo aa button do code na generate madunthu that becomes a responsive panel 
okay so this this is under what this is placed over a display screen and there are several different text, text screen technologies on a market and even uses the different methods to direct touch of inputs nowadays now modlo now fingerprint scanner right there the back there mobile ali mobile behind we had a fingerprint scanner now what happened every mobile change into uh, on display fingerprints correct means illi nan yenake example kotte ant helidre namma touch screen is it is like a technology also it is it technology in it has diff, several different ways in a side locking also we have a touch screen means it takes an input for what it is been used to make a user to use his input correct frequently or by utilize in a utilized manner the sensor is generally have an electrical circuit or a signal going through uh, through it and touch screen causes a voltage or a signal chance so what does it do it generally works with an electrical signal itself or a i or a signal which translates the information to an processor also so the voltage change is used to determine a location of a of the data which you are going to touch say for example with the help of this voltage change what happens right now new ga ondu like in my mobile keypad alli when you press a number it does different sounds for different number have you observed when i press 1 it says we can we can know notice that as yes, he is pressing the one number or two number or three number each and every where it has a different sound is small there is small changes in that sound that is that is what a voltage change so with by using this voltage change i can determine my work i can determine my entity or different sorts of things clear this is what a touch screen is now as we have input processor output in we call that together as a computer in the same way touch screen here becomes an input device but those touch screen also to be controlled by some person right for that we have a controller so the, what does this controller do here a controller is a small pc card that connects between a touch screen and a pc it takes an information from a touch screen sensor translates it to a info translates it to a pc and that can be understood that will be understood by a pc so in marti believe as we have an input and processor in between like we we if we use this processor what does this processor do that it control it converts your input into machine dependent language same way here the touch sensor what does it do it is been connected this controller has been connected in between a pc card it is a, in between a pc and a touch sensor okay it is a card which is connected which is connected in between a pc or touch sensor so naming a mobile if a person knows when when he opens a mobile he get a black coating over there a small thin layer of a black coating between a, a touch screen and your display that is what a controller is which will convert your input information to a pc in an understandable way in an understandable manner or a mechanism okay so this controls this control usually installed inside a monitor inside the monitor for integrating a monitor or a household plastic case for external touch or add ons also so it is also been installed with the inside a monitor too like in a pc and all we going we are going to insert insert that okay the controller are available in that that connects to serial monitors like or a usb is also so we there is a controller like now we got a fingerprint thumb scan madbeku that is a controller alwa so based on that the when we keep when we you go to your uh, apcms and all you see when you give uh, your ration card they used to take your thumb means that is also one kind of control it takes a input from the usb port itself right or com port or any kind anywhere the specialized controller are also been available with dvd players and other devices even everywhere we find this controllers for when we use a touch screen next is software driver he this becomes an 
uh, base for a touch screen. The driver is a software update for a PC system that allows a touch screen and computer to work together. So what is the software? It is an invisible part which helps to work uh, with the user and the hardware. The same way the software driver, what the software driver do here is, this software driver is used to allow a person or a touch screen to work with a computer easily and simultaneously. It, it tells that, it tells a computer to operate on a system and tells a system to and how to interact also. So, how to operate a computer, we can help you with a computer, how to operate a computer. And now, how to interact with a computer, to call, we have to click on phone, phone bo, phone icon. It, leaves us to search for and uh, search the data. How it has been possible? With the help of this, with the help of this software drivers itself. Okay. Next, this allows the touch screen to work with extension, extending, extension or existing software uh, and allows a new application to develop without the need of touch screen or specific programs. But the software also helps to do different sorts of works in our day-to-day -day life. Some of this, uh, some of some equipments uh, such as thin client terminal, DVD player, specialized computer system, or so on, has have, don't use the software drivers or they have its own built-in touchscreen. Sometimes, for example, when I install. A third party application in my system. So that third party application has to be run means I need their documents. So the, they here they are saying that we also have an uh, like depend independent software drivers also. But nowadays everything is built in. Hence we get everything in a built in functionality itself or a function unity itself. Okay. This is what about a software input devices light pen. So what is this light pen? It is a pointing device. This uses the artifact like uh, infrared rays or different rays to produce a shape with the help of pen. It is like it is a light pen is a pointing devices shaped like a pen and it is connected to visual display unit. Like if you have a uh, Google me Google seminars in a uh, the talk by Sundar Pichai he uses this light pen to point an image or to point what he is explaining in a bigger company channel they use this and this light pen with the help of this light pen I can scan a document also it is possible the tip of a light pen contains a light sensitive element which with which it is been it has an screen to. It detects the light from a screen enabled in the computer, identifies the location of location of the screen and then works. So how, what is this? A tip of this light pen as how we have a tip in our pens. It, by there a ink will flow and it is able to write, correct? So by there a light will flow and here remember uh, so uh, here the light pen like say the same way how a uh, ink flows correct so like how an ink flows in our pen sorry audible right so the light pens here means as the same nama panel now uh, tip ball alam hanging ink flow agutto the same way the working of this light pen also what does it say here is the tip of a light pen con contains the light sensitive element when placed against a screen it detects the light from a screen enabled to a computer to identify the location of a pen on a screen okay like what means now a tip of the pen. Now when I press that the ink flows and I will use to write. The same way here 
in a light the tip of that light pen it has a light sensitive element when you place on that line or when you place on that line it takes the light in the in that region and it generates the work it takes the light in that region and it helps to generate the work clear the and it also detects the things as the same it allows the user to point to display object or draw on a screen in similar way to touch the in a similar way of a touch screen for a great potential so the light pen is quite simple to implement the working by, by sense sensing the sudden brightness or point on that uh, screen or electron gun reflection spots so it is very simple to implement based on the sensors by uh, by sensing the light also it works based on the point by, by pointing a things also it works or with the help of reflection uh, by electron guns also it runs like now laser beams are not used by providing a position point it, it reflects the things the same way the light pens also works so uh, it is exactly used to scan the reached movements it how does it do it will scan a move, uh, image based on the x and y position and it will uh, take that ratio ratings and then the image is been produced in this okay this is usually achieved by light pen because causing an interruption at which the point of scan position can be read from special register or computed forms also so when you use this light pens we can uh, take up or pull out the information based on some registers which is been utilized so here the light pen works with an crt based display but not with an lcd screen or a projector or with other displays it only works with the help of a crt beam in the sense the working principle of a light pen is the same as in crt itself okay the light pens have an advantage of drawing directly into a screen but this can come uncomfortable as they have an accurate digitalized signal okay so here we can easily run them with the help inside a screen also but we, we will not get a clean and embedded picture in this this is what a light pen is the last type of uh, the uh, input devices graphical tablets so it is a digital tablet also or pad or a drawing tablet also it is like a computer that allows us for hand drawing a graphics or to provide a different utilities with the help of pencil or a pen clear so here a graphics display or graphical tablet it is a kind of a drawing drawing board also it will help us or it helps us for a hand drawing an image for doing a different task for making up a uh, different and utilize utility of a system and so on so the graphical tablet is an alternative type of input device that can be used to place a mouse track balls or some other pointy device also the tablet consists of a flat surface for drawing and pen for the different utilities so as i have mentioned in a lines itself a tablet graphical tablet is an alternative type of an input it is different from what we spoke it is a big phones or we, we use them for a hand drawing or different sorts for our own usage so here the tablet consists of a flat surface it consists of a flat surface for drawing or for different works to be done the images are generally does not appear on a tablet itself rather than displayed on a monitor so just we draw image the image is not displayed on a directly on a tablet what i am speaking it is not a tablet which is given from a samsung and all it is a kind of an input device okay it takes a input but it requires one more screen to show what type of input you are have given or to showcase the data okay the some tablets are intended as an general replacement for a mouse as a primary pointing devices and navigation for and display computers so here they use as a mouse also for a things okay so a graphical pen is a typical 
uh, graphical pen or a graphical tablet is a typically more expensive than what we saw further and it has a size range of 3 into 4 uh, meters or of 7 into 8 inches once okay it is a large tablet for a group group discussion so this is what a uh, input the coordinate system so in coordinates and reno theater nanige one graphics na nano place mark with one could a place mark with one theater other the x axis with the y axis like new ega on the graph draw martyr and the graph or max mathematics or graph draw martyr and theater head draw martyr new first x axis your values are good x axis the values are going to y axis na conduct the matte other than a graph na plot martyr alba the same way this coordinate system works so this is the system this is the view to implement a computer graphics and modeling the system with the help of mathematical operations like a point or a vector now the computer graphics are how they the image or plot now with the help of graph or plot martyr andre nami gottirutte nam nam yen martirutte alli eshtu point alli yen measuring kodtivi ante nami gottirbeku gottidre matra nanige aa image na plot madakagutte okay the many operations are the part of an internal graphic system they are they have many operations as a part of internal graphic system to display a image only okay coordinate ant helidre nam yenak use martivi means we use them for creating a graphics now graphics na create maadu koskara ee coordinate system na use maadukotivi okay we require a fixed coordinate system that incorporates an origin and associated axis to different position of an object ivaga nanige two dimensionally ondu image na draw maadbeku antu helidre nanige origin 0,0 antu kotini x and y eradu axis tagotini Okay, how can I get more? And get 2D image easier form more. But in a 3D image, we can say that realistic image, we can say that more coordinates to go in X, Y, and Z. Arta Marcoli, 2D image, there are only two definitions, only 2D row and column. A step. So for that, none in Martini, X axis, but the Y axis to go to X axis, X axis, row Martin, Y axis, column to go to. Based on that, I, I produce a 2D image. Now, when I need to provide a like provide a image which has like say for the example, then again the image I produce more like realistic. A realistic image I have to produce more by taking three positions. So that position matters in the coordinate system. Okay, understand clearly what is that? So the coordinate system is a framework used to define a position. Or it positions are also called location. Mandre, and in a case in helicopter already held in an image, no place martin. An image no early place martini. Yava positionally, I image no place martin in third of the question. So, this coordinate system helps me with providing a by providing a framework for both 2D and 3D dimensions. The two uh, here, a coordinate system is a way to determine a position of a point by setting number that can be distance of a set of an planes angle substitute and or combination of both ivaga one 2d image na draw maadbeku antu helidre nanige just number specify maadi saku x axis ma y axis eshtu beku specify maadi saku but 3d image na specify maadova nanige adu eshtne yav angle kutide yav tara dirutte antu na proper specify maadidre matra i can do that that is what about a that is what about a coordinate system here yeah. so based on that i can draw an horizontal or vertical imaging for a system this is what as i as i showed you here this horizontal axis is normally labeled as x axis and vertical axis is normally labeled as y axis when you perform an operation in a realistic environment then you are going to add one more label called as z axis for a third dimension Okay, so the based on a space and length, I may calculate an Cartesian coordinate system. So Cartesian, this is how we are going to speak, means about a points we are going to speak. Hope you understood about this, right?